okay let's start from where we left the class in the last lecture and here i'm going to show you how to use move rotate and scale tool to move the objects okay to transform the objects so let's see if i want to move the object let's see i want to move this sphere and i want to bring this sphere on top of this this cube to make a pillar or design something so i need to move this and position it on top of the cube for that i need to use the move tool and the shortcut for this tool is w okay you can hover over the tool and you can see this tool tip and you can see the shortcut w for move tool or you can click here and if you have selected it you can see the manipulator here and you can see this three arrow red color and green and jig so which is the blue axis this is the x axis and this is the y axis make sure you remember these colors uh, red is x and blue is z axis and green is y axis and to reach this place i need to use this three axis so let's hold the left mouse button when it's turn yellow you can see when i put the mouse cursor on top of the arrow it turns yellow that means it's ready to use now you can just when it turns yellow hold the left mouse and drag to move it in that axis you can see i can move it like this and again i can move in y axis as well to move you no know, up down i can move it now i cannot say if it's like sitting on top of the cube or floating i can only say that from the orthographic views i can hit space bar to get those views and from here i can see the gap between cube and sphere but it seems like it's touching the cube in this view don't forget this is the perspective view and you are looking at a little bit from the top angle that's why it looks like this but if you rotate it properly uh, you can see actually there are gaps so most of the new beginner guys no uh, confused here they uh, treat the perspective view like a photoshop file or uh, something like 2d and they think uh, that it's touching but uh, my suggestion my advice is just check that in different orthographic view basically uh, in the side or front view you can see that the gaps and now you can move uh, to toss that with this cube so this is the move tool you can move with these three axes and which is i recommend to use although there are some other options to move you can move from this center as well when i put my cursor on this square it turns yellow and i can hold left mouse and drag to move this is kind of free form move that means i'm moving in every axis and i don't recommend to use this for beginners especially don't use this let's say you use this to bring the spear on top of this let's do that and you think it comes there but later you, if you rotate the view you can see it's not at the center okay because it's moving in every axis you cannot control or you don't have the control to control a particular axis that's why it's better to use single axis at a time and when you are a pro then you can do this uh, still you have to adjust it from different you no know, angle if you use that and you have some plain view options from this you no know, squares you can see if you hold this it's kind of moving on on the plane moving these two axes at the same time and this moving these two axes at the same time so basically i would recommend to you no know, practice this three axis first and then as you be comfortable with maya then you can explore other options okay this is move then let's see how to rotate or scale let me move and position that on the cube and let me use the views here to help me and as you can see i can easily move and position it on the cube here okay now i want to make it small it's too big for the cube and i can select it and let's go to scale tool for this and the shortcut is r go to scale tool and you can scale from the center and this is important to scale from the center here to maintain the spear shape 
if I scale from this let's say y axis it's going to like flatten it it's going to kind of stretch in that particular axis or squeeze in that particular axis scaling in a single axis is like stretching or squeezing in that axis when you just want to make it a small or big one then you should scale it from the center and when you scale it from the center it's going to scale from every axis that's why it's going to you now have that same shape but now it's a little bit small one so this is scale tool and again you have you no know, two axis scaling now i'm scaling in these two axes so those type of options are there but again practice these things and then let's say i want to rotate let's say i want to rotate and i want to uh, have this point down there and this side should be up so i need to rotate for that so let's go to rotate tool this is the rotate tool and the shortcut is e so w e r and you'll find those shortcut you no know, close to each other on the keyboard so let's rotate it now the rotate manipulator is little different now we have curves circles and i can hold the you no know, left mouse button when it's turn yellow i can see a you no know, outside circle which is yellow and i would recommend not to use that use this again specific axis to rotate let's say g axis i rotate that like this and when you rotate make sure you use channel box here let's say i want to rotate 180 degree that means i want this point to this you no know, pole to down and this up 100% vertically so i need to rotate it 180 degree so let's rotate it and in the g axis i can put 180 degree here 180 and press enter and you can see it exactly rotated 180 degree again you can rotate from here which is free from or you can put value to you no know, get some specific degree rotation so these are some ways to move rotate and scale and in the next lecture i'm going to talk about how to use layers and let's see that in the next lecture